This is why Haynes King is one of the best quarterbacks in the ACC, man. Quotes like this. Does not matter what the scoreboard says. We're going to fight till the end. We've seen that in the uh, Syracuse game. No matter what y'all say, they were up 31-14 in the fourth. They fall back and nearly won and made the game. He threw for, uh, I think it was two touchdowns in the game. or maybe, It might have been three. But he was definitely their best player. Uh, was the best runner on that day. Didn't turn over the football. Had a phenomenal game. So, when you think about the Tech fans, like I've been saying, like you got your quarterback. Um, he started last year, obviously, against Louisville in the opener. But I've seen him to continue to take steps forward and kind of just become that guy. And he did it again this past week. I know it was VMI, 17 for 22, 275 yards and three touchdowns. Um, but like you said, man, I, I really like his mindset. You fight all the way to the end um, and you really want to uh, worry about the scoreboard later. And I, like I said, I just like the principles that Tech, you know, kind of prides themselves on what Coach Key brings to the table and how he holds all these guys accountable. You can tell the mindset is just different with this program. And this is why they're having the success. This is why they landed five-star guys. This is why they're 3-1 and one to start the season. And they got a big matchup coming up, and most people aren't going to take them to win. But let's remember, uh, head coach Brent Key is 5-0 and oh against ranked ACC opponents. So we got to take that into consideration as well. Uh, so I think they're going to be ready. I think they're going to come out on top. I'll get my prediction a little bit later, but I did want to respond to what he says. It doesn't matter about the scoreboard says. We're going to fight to the end. And we've seen that against Syracuse. And as he said in this interview, they're going to be explosive, disciplined, and tough. And that's what they pride themselves on. And I got an article that's going to be dropping here pretty soon about Georgia Tech players to watch. I usually try to switch it up. Um, so King won't be on there, even though he's a primetime player. I like to highlight players that not necessarily getting the same kind of recognition or exposure. Uh, so it's going to be some major players to watch in this game. Obviously, King is definitely going to be one of them. Um, he's not going to be on my SI article, but um, the, the performance he's had this year, it can't be understated. And he's not going to get talked about a lot. And it does suck. But we all know, Coach Key knows, everybody in the Georgia Tech program knows he is the guy. And he's one of the best quarterbacks in college football. All, all that matters now is if Georgia Tech can get to the, to the limelight a little bit more. And I'm not saying as far as more media attention, but I mean playing more meaningful football. Um, you know, and by doing that, you know, you have to win games like this on the road, right? You're going to have to be able to battle and compete and eventually defeat a Miami, right? You're going to have to go and beat a Notre Dame at Mercedes-Benz Stadium coming up. You're going to have to go on the road and battle and compete with Georgia and hopefully be in a position to win the game. So when you have those kind of games and you're winning, you're competitive, then it's only going to help you. So great team, man. Can't wait to see what they're able to do um, against Louisville. Obviously, I have more buzz, more news on it. Um, you know, here soon. Um, and I'll give obviously my thoughts on it and stay tuned. And I'll have a recap on the game. I didn't recap VMI because I didn't really see a point. Uh, we knew what Georgia Tech was going to do. Uh, Mari Harvey Bald and uh, several other players, Traylon Maddox and um, Taj Butler and some of their key young guys that came in the game really balled out. Obviously, Eric, Eric Singleton Jr. had one of his best games, uh, second game over 100 yards. But I didn't want to really highlight that. But I will be reacting to this when they got against Louisville and all the rest of the games the rest of the season, man. So, again, don't sleep on Georgia Tech, man. Them boys is coming. I think they're ready. I like their mindset. And I like how they put everything in the forefront, man. And like he says, they're going to bow all the way to the end. When you had that kind of mindset, you're going to be in most games. And you're going to have opportunity to showcase what you really made of and how good you can be.